One of my goals is to become a top breeder in my area for mite resistant bees that don't require treatment at all. <laughs> so I've known for a while that I will need to expand, but since it's already pretty late in the year, I figured that I would probably have to wait until spring to do so until I came across a lecture by Mike Palmer talking about his use of nukes and his sustainable apiary. So I got to work and I started cutting wood and building five frame double story nukes. I filled up all of these nukes with bees and introduced queen cells and virgin queens. This is the first phase of my plan to next year be 100% treatment free. But the real question is, being it's already the end of August, is whether or not my queens will come back mated and start building for the winter. Drone populations have already started to drop here in Michigan, so let's see how they did. Today is finally the day that I get to check on all of my queens to see if they successfully mated. Now I have 17 hives that I was waiting on the queens to mate, so we got quite a few of them that we need to dig into today. So we're going to see if we can find any eggs, make sure that she's in there, and yeah, let's get started. It is August 30th here in Southwest Michigan, and I noticed that last week the number of drones that are in all of my colonies have definitely gone down. Um, looking back, it probably would have been wise to throw in some sort of like drone comb so that they would have had extra drones to mate with. So I'm a little nervous um, to see if they actually ended up being able to mate or not, just because I know there's not that many drones left in the area. It is really late in the year, but that's why I said I'm taking a risk. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they went. <laughs> I am a little nervous that we're gonna have a really early and nasty winter this year. I was out mushroom hunting the other day and I noticed that a lot of the trees are already starting to shed their leaves. Um, they're already starting to change colors and drop to the ground. And then also the fact that these drones are already being kicked out so early. So hoping and praying that it won't be a cold and early winter, but I guess we will see. We're gonna check on these bigger colonies first. Um, these three are currently queenless. One of them lost their queen. I don't know what happened to her. She's just not there anymore. Um, this other one is the one that I accidentally took their queen out when I made that, that, um, that starting nuke for those grafted queens. And then this one is the one that had a queen that had a broken leg and was not laying correctly. So, Figured we do these first before we dig into the little ones. Since it is late in the year, another sign that you can tell that there is not a laying queen yet is this is probably about a week or two after I've already rearranged some of these frames and they still haven't built them out yet. Now, if you watch one of my last videos, then you know that if you aren't on a heavy flow, um, well, really the bees will only draw comb out for the queen or if you're on a very heavy flow and since it's late in the year, no heavy flows here. So this is telling me that there is probably not a queen that is laying yet just because this is not built out yet. Now I did find her. There she is. She is not laying yet. I don't see any eggs, but she is still in here. So that colony, colony number 19, is a little bit behind in comparison to the rest of them. All of the rest of them are at least 13 days uh, since I put in those queen cells. So they should be mated by now. We've had, we haven't had any bad weather actually except for yesterday. So, and the day I put them in was supposed to be the day they were hatching. So if not that day, then the day after they were supposed to be hatching. So let's keep checking on the rest. Now this colony is ahead of all of the rest of the colonies. Um, they had queen cells made before any of the rest of them because I had accidentally stole their queen. <laughs> so she should be mated by now. But I guess we'll find out. 
I do notice that they are keeping comb open for brood. Um, some of the other frames are starting to fill up, but they're still leaving the center empty for the queen to lay eggs when she's ready. So that's maybe a good sign. Most of the time when I look at a colony that is queenless, I will see that they will fill up all the frames with bee bread or honey. Um, so usually that tells me this colony is queenless because they're no longer keeping cells open for brood. So like I said, it's promising to see that they do have the center of all of these frames open for brood when the queen is ready, but I'll take a look in the bottom box to see what's going on down there. Also, I just started using these kind of gloves instead and it is so much easier to do everything beekeeping wise. <laughs> the other gloves are way too big and bulky and drive me insane and then I'm always pinching bees and then they get pissed off at me. <laughs> okay, so first one to have no queen and no eggs. So this hive is going to need a mated queen ASAP. See that? There is one egg. I am very happy to see that because that means that she is starting to lay and that she did successfully mate. Oh, I see two bees right here with mites on them. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> um, here, I'll show you actually. In case you've never seen a bee with a mite on them, see that drone? You see that red dot? That's a mite, right there on its back. But when you first have a mated queen and you see one egg here, one egg there, don't be alarmed. This does not mean that she is a bad queen, that she does not lay well. She is practicing laying before she starts laying the way she's supposed to. They have to develop all the way in order to lay a good brood pattern. So in the beginning, it's common. She'll just lay one egg here, one egg there, but it's good to see that there is an egg because that means she is here and she did mate successfully. Now she is just developing properly so that she can become the queen she's supposed to be. See her down there? She is very light, beautiful. But all right, I'll let her do her thing. I don't need to check them anymore. I don't wanna stress them out, especially when they have a new queen because that could cause them to all of a sudden reject her and we definitely don't want that. So this hive is ready for their second box because she will begin laying. So they will be building out comb and growing pretty quickly. And the brick will go laying down because they now have a mated queen. But leaving the brick here because I do need to add a box soon. So far I've got one colony that needs a queen. So now let's check on all of these little itty bitty nukes and see what we're looking like. There she is. She's not laying yet. At least that I can see so far. But she's in here. So I found the queen. This is clearly a virgin queen. You can tell by the color and the hairs on her thorax. They're still kind of gray and she's still kind of pale. So that means that she must have newly hatched, which tells me that she must have been one that they made themselves. So we'll see what I end up doing with this one. Another way I can tell that she must have newly hatched is because there's still a queen cell here. She would have killed it already if she had found it. So, yep, they must have made this one themselves. Here is one of the virgin queens that I brought in and she has got eggs all over in these cells. And there she is, looking fine and healthy. And 
We've got a, another very well made queen. Look at all those eggs. No queen or eggs. Now this is a healthy looking colony. It kind of already started to go down, but when you open up a colony and you see that there are bees coating the entire hive, that is a very good sign. We've got some eggs. <laughs> Whew. This colony is healthy. Now, what leaves me kind of puzzled is when <laughs> you open up a nuke and there are no eggs, no larva, but there are swarm cells. Hmm. That is really interesting that they are preparing to swarm without a laying queen and without any eggs or all this brood that you're seeing here is left over. Interesting, but this hive is jam packed with bees. So that is probably why they're wanting to swarm. I did see a queen in here. She appears to be a virgin. Oh my gosh, this queen just hatched. <laughs> okay, I got her. So many rookie mistakes just happened. So I just opened up this hive to find that all of the queens that they're preparing to swarm with are hatching right now. Two of them already jumped off the frame and flew away. This one I picked her up and then she slipped out of my hands, but then she started crawling back and she actually crawled onto my phone, onto my hand, and then I put her in here. I'm gonna put some workers in here to help feed her and take care of her. But perfect timing. Literally all of these queens are hatching as we speak. So it appears that even if the queen is not laying and there is no brood, they will still swarm if the, the hive is jam-packed like this. Like it's so jam-packed that I can't even look at the cells. I've been trying to find the queen that I had found earlier in here just to make sure that she's still in here. But yeah, there's so many bees, I cannot find her. So I will be putting a, another box on this ASAP. Um, I'll actually probably make a special trip just to put another box on this today and spread them out. But yeah, that was kind of cool. Watching queens hatch. Got another queen right here. I'm bummed that the two flew off. Um, I guess I should start keeping cages in my pockets from here on out. But it was kind of cool to see. So the way they hatch is the bees kind of help them gnaw off on the sides. And so if you ever see a cell, I'm waiting for this one right here because it kind of looked like they were starting to eat at it. Um, if you ever see a cell that it's starting to get cut off around the sides of the cell, but it's still closed, that queen is about to come out like any second. So yeah, that was really cool. They came out really fast. You could tell they were um, queens made for swarming because they are strong and quick. Um, I don't know if I got it on camera, but the two queens, they did collide and they like yeah, they were not happy with that. I think that's why they flew off, because they collided and then they kind of jumped off after that because they knew they were going to fight, but <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Yeah, so this one will be hatching soon. You can kind of see the bite marks on the cell. They're already starting to bite away at it so that she can come out. So I'm going to have to leave this frame out until she comes out so I can recage that one as well. I guess that's a way of preventing uh, swarming. Definitely not the way you want to do it. And yeah, no, definitely not the way you want to do that. But I was not expecting any of these nukes to prepare to swarm since they didn't have a laying queen. But since this one had so many bees, all right. I guess remember that if there are too many bees, they will also swarm. Not just because they have a, they, they do not have to have a queen laying in order for them to do so. 
So my fault on this. I should have had another box on there, but just found one of those queens must have came back because this was not the queen I saw earlier. This one has more black spots on it or black stripes. <laughs> All right, so here is my queen. She may have been on mating flights, but have, has not laid any eggs yet. Of course they're covering, she's trying to hide. <laughs> um, but she looks a lot more mature than the other ones. So that is why I say this. <laughs> Interesting that the other queen came back and was able to find her way back. Wow. All right, so yep, this hive, I gotta get a box on it today. So I will make a special trip for that. Yeah, you see all those bees? That's a lot of bees. They're wanting to swarm right now, but I lucked out and I caught them just in time. Craziness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot believe my luck right now. They're working on that one down there. They're gnawing away at it. So I'm gonna leave it out while I check on the rest of them. And hopefully they will have her almost out by then. We've got a couple eggs and this one just scattered here and there. That's good. That means she is still here and just started laying. We've got lots of eggs in these cells. Quite hard for you to see, but I'm sure you can trust me. <laughs> no eggs. No queen. This one will need one soon. No eggs yet, but there is a mature queen that will be laying soon. The way you can tell whether or not a queen is mature or a virgin is by looking at her hairs and also looking at her colors. Um, it's kind of hard to explain until you've seen it quite a few times but just try to when it when you're beekeeping just try to look at both and eventually you'll be able to tell the difference um a virgin queen is going to have more gray hairs on her than a mated queen or just a mature queen um all around her thorax it'll be a lot of gray hairs and she'll also appear smaller both in like width and length so i don't know if that helps but i hope it does okay so i only have two two colonies that do not have a queen at all over here those are the ones that are standing up right here and right here all the ones that are laying down have eggs and a mated queen but the ones that have a brick that looks like this means that there is a, a queen in there she is not a virgin she's the queen that i had put in there i can tell just by looking at her that she's not new but then the ones that i have sideways like this that one I can tell is a brand new queen based off of the colors of her hairs and the appearance of her body. So I should probably write this down so I remember <laughs> how I put these bricks and what they mean. But Okay, so what I'm going to do with this frame since I do not want them to swarm obviously is I am going to move this frame into one of these hives that does not have a queen at all. That way, when it does hatch, they will have a queen. Yes, I will have to wait for it to mate, but at least then they will have one. And I've heard many beekeepers say that queens that are made from swarming are a lot stronger than queens that are made from supersedure cells or emergency cells. So this might end up being the queen that I want anyways. There we go. So this will help boost this colony a little bit while taking some of the bees away from here. Not that many, but still a little bit is will help. Um, and it'll give them a queen if they need one. And in the meantime, I can give them this empty frame, which they are going to be very happy with because that will give them much more room and a lot more to do because right now it's pretty crowded in there. So these other queens, this actually ends up working out perfect. 
Um, I could get made of queens right now, but I'm gonna take the risk to just use these virgin queens myself since, like I said, they did come from an act of swarming. Um, so they're gonna be stronger. So I'm gonna put them one in here, and then I have one all the way over there that has a brick standing up that also does not have any queens in them. So I'm gonna put them in here for them to use, and that actually ends up working out perfect. Wow, I learned a lot today. <laughs> that was so cool seeing those two queens hatch out. And that was, like I keep saying, that was perfect timing. I cannot believe the timing on that. So that colony is all set now. I don't have to worry about it swarming. There's no more cells left. I gave it space. And um, the other colonies that I did not have a queen in whatsoever now have queens. So it's kind of funny how things work that everything literally worked out perfectly. I don't have any extra. I don't need any other ones. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But the majority, let's see, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine of the 14 are mated or nine of the 17 are mated. I'm still waiting for some other ones to get mated um, or to start laying. They may have already been mated because they did look very mature. So I guess we'll see on that. But yeah, I learned a lot today and I never knew that that sound that I heard, um, I'd always hear this like high pitched buzzing noise. Um, I think it's called piping from queens. I didn't know it was coming from a queen bee. I thought it was just coming from like a regular worker bee, but then I watched that queen do it and I was like, oh, so that's what that sound is. So yeah, kind of cool. But that is it for me today that I got everything done that I needed to get done. I'm going to come back tomorrow and put boxes on everything. There's something going on over there. I'm thinking robbing. Holy smokes, man. The only thing about this screen is it doesn't bend well. Once it's been bent once, it kind of permanently stays that way. I don't want to squish any, but... Uh, sorry, guys. Or girls, I should say. But that is it for me today. I hope you got a lot out of this video. I learned so much today, so I know you probably learned a lot too. So thanks again for watching and I am so happy that you guys are here. It really means the world to me. So I just want to say thank you a million times because I really appreciate it. So with that, I'll see you guys soon.